Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie and this is Artist Hustle TV. Today I am talking about 15 ways on how you can promote and market your album, EP, single, anything that you're doing with music and you want to really promote it. I'm just giving you 15 ways you can do it. There's obviously hundreds and thousands of ways to do it but these are just a couple of tips make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already let's get into it tip number one is video blog your entire process of the single the album the ep whatever you're doing do a behind the scenes look this is a great way to market yourself market your music get yourself out there and just get people inside of what it actually takes to create your music. The second thing you can do is create a hashtag for your album and your release. I think this is such a great idea. Use it on Twitter, use it on Instagram, use it on Snapchat. Really customize it so that you can see all of the different things and encourage everybody to use that hashtag. Whether you're doing events, release parties, whatever it is, they bought the album, make sure they use the hashtags everywhere the third thing you can do is have a landing page for your album on your website or just creating just a website where everybody can flock to to either download it buy it whatever you're doing have a landing page of the album and what's to come and that's where you can put the videos of the different things that you did to in in order to create the album or the single and that's a great way to entice people to want to buy or download your music the fourth thing you can do is interviews with bloggers and influencers great way to get more promotions great way to do it you can start with smaller to mid-sized bloggers because obviously the big bloggers you're going to have to pay if you have the money to do it, do it. I think that's a great way to do it because they already have the reach. But make sure you do your research. Don't just go to every single blogger, every single, you know, they have over 100,000 followers. That doesn't mean that it's going to be a good fit for you. Sometimes the smaller to mid-sized bloggers, they're more engaged with their community. They're more engaged with their audience. There's more um incitement there's more there's more everything so don't assume that because it's big numbers or it's a big blogger it's going to be big results that's not always the case now sometimes it is but it's not always the case the fifth thing you can do is submit your press release to other free um press release websites they have so many different free ones that you can submit your album to make sure you write up a good one or hire someone to write your press release that's another way for you to market it the sixth thing you can do is perform at house parties and college parties and high schools and different events that are going on these are all different ways to market yourself if you already have performances going on tell people about it entice people to remind them hand out flyers after you know what i'm saying and that's another way to do it is hand out flyers after performances or after your shows or your friends shows entice people to remember to contact you to check out your stuff go to your website people will forget they have so many other things going on you want to make sure you do it and make it as easy as possible to, for people to remember that you have something going on the sixth thing you can do, no the seventh thing you can do is cross promote with other artists or other people that may help you reach out to your target audience now you can focus on musicians which i think is a great idea but i love thinking outside the box why can't you hit up a local comedian why couldn't you work with a local dancer or why couldn't you work with someone that's on the upcoming uh working on a book or working on just think outside the box outside of just music because i think musicians they kind of only want to work with musicians but sometimes that can limit you. So think of other musicians, but then think of other different ways that can build your brand in other ways to market it and make people interested in what you're doing. So think of that as different ways for you to cross promote. The eighth thing you can do is set up a Google alert using your name and thank everyone that is reviewing your blogs and your your music and everything thank them and share them and invite other people to do it you need to set up an alert because you just never know who's talking about you and there's so much stuff going on, on the internet you can't find everything so make sure you set up a Google alert or any type of alert online so you can see what's going on with your album release the eighth thing you well the ninth thing you can do is um, make it easy for people to download or buy your music do not make it difficult okay if you can possibly have your stuff everywhere soundcloud apple 
wherever you're doing streaming, Spotify, anywhere, your website, especially your website, you cannot have an album, EP, whatever it is, and you don't have it on your website. I think that's so crazy when artists do that. And I'm like, where is it? Oh, you got to go to SoundCloud. Oh, you got to no. every platform you're on. Make it easy for them to either buy or download your music, whether you're giving out for free or you're charging. Make it easy and simple as possible. The 10th thing you can do is ask a YouTuber to review your album. So say there's a YouTuber that loves to talk about entertainment or music or maybe something else. Maybe they love to talk about fashion. Think outside the box. Look at YouTubers or even um, personalities, not just the big ones, um, but also the small to medium sized ones that have a nice community that you feel like your music can benefit them and they would really enjoy it. So say it's painting, say it's skydiving, say it's, I don't know, bowling. I don't know what it is, but you feel like, you know what? I like this music. I feel like this community could actually connect with my music. Reach out to them. Think outside of music. Don't just think inside of music because that's over crowded so that's another way for you can do you can do it the 11th way you can do and market your your music is uploading lyric videos to YouTube and other video websites I think this is such a great idea and great strategy because sometimes people listen to your music and they don't know the lyrics okay they just don't know the lyrics it's not like you know so upload some lyric videos to YouTube and other video platforms of your album, your single, whatever it is, of your music, and let it make it easy for them to remember your songs, to watch it again, to listen to it, to download it, whatever it is. Make it fun, make it memorable, and make sure you always include a link for them to download the whole thing or download the single, whatever it is. Make it easy for them. The 12th thing you can do is invite local media to your live performances with free press kits, and not free press kits, press passes, that's what I meant to say. Ugh. So what you want to do is talk to the local media, invite them out to your shows, invite them out to your release parties, whatever you're doing, and give them free guest passes and ask them, could you please um, review it and give them your materials and tell them, you know what, can you invite invite them out? Tell them, hey, this is a great time for you to enjoy me. I want to get to know you. Please come out. I would support you. Please, you know, help me out. I'll help you out. Just Get a community involved and give them something to entice them with. And that's something that's really, really important. The 13th thing you can do is you can contact non-music websites, blogs, podcasts about your music. I think this is a phenomenal idea. Why? Because if you only focus on music blogs, music videos, music, everything, it's so saturated. You want to go into other elements of your music. If you know your music is more calming, maybe yoga people will love your music. Maybe people who do hiking will love your music. I don't know what your what your music is about, but you should know and think of other ways of how people can enjoy your music doing other activities and go to those websites and reach out to them and say, hey, here's my latest song. Here's my latest album. I would love to include this to your community. I would love to share it. I would love to talk to you guys. Whatever it is, include them and in, do a new way of marketing yourself, not just to music websites, not just to music podcasts and everything because those are already saturated. You want to think outside the box. The other and last tip is start early and pre-promote. It is so important. You cannot wait until the last minute. And I absolutely hate when um, artists or anybody, even business people, you wait until the last minute to start promoting it. You can't do that, okay? I'm not saying wait until the whole thing is finished. Now, if it's a single, that's different. But if it's a whole album, you don't want to wait until it's completely finished to start promoting it, to start getting people excited. One of the best brands that I absolutely love that does it so well. There's other brands, but I'm just going to say Apple. They do an amazing job to get people excited about what's to come. And they give you like little teasers. They give people things to um, talk about. They give great visuals. They don't give, they give you just enough for you to want to know when it's coming out, where it's coming out. They, 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 they make the anticipation so exciting that people go crazy over it. So by the time it does come out, people are lining up 
in the stores. People are selling out online. That's what you want to do with your music. Your music is a business. And if you want to create it like a business, you need to think about how can I get them excited before it even comes out. I hope that these tips helped you out. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. And if you have any other tips on how musicians can either market or promote their music and their releases better, make sure you put it in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye.